Hi, I'm Laurie from TimeToPlayMag.com, and I'm here with Electronic Labyrinth from Ravensburger. And in this game, the object is to cover your magic key wand with magical gems in order to free the wizard and all of his friends that are trapped within the labyrinth. And the cool thing about this game board is that it is movable. It's made up of different little tiles of maze cards. They each have a different pathway on it. And you can use these maze cards to move certain rows and columns of the game board so you can make different pathways in order to collect objects and get to the dwellers inside the labyrinth. There are 12 arrows on the edges of the game board to show you which rows can be moved. So you'll place all the maze cards just randomly on the game board and you'll have one left over like we have here. And then the first player, once everyone picks their playing piece color and gets their key card, the first player will then take the leftover maze card and decide where they want to put it. So if I'm the blue player, perhaps I want to slide my card right over here and I just move all of that over like so. And now I have a pathway and I can choose to move my piece here. Oh, I'm going to go visit a dweller. I'm going to visit the unicorn. And this is where the magic book comes in. It's interactive, it's electronic and you just press the unicorn and he will introduce himself to you. Maybe he'll ask you to bring him an object or a treasure chest and then you continue along the uh, game board looking for those objects and delivering treasure chests to some of the other characters. There's also the evil witch who will come in and try to foil your plans as you play. Uh, this requires three AA batteries and those are not included so you'll need to uh, get those. It's for two to four players ages eight and up. The only thing that's a little bit daunting is there are six pages of instructions, so it might take you a while to set this game up and really get into playing it. Once you play it once, maybe a practice round, you'll sort of get the hang of it and you won't need to rely as much on the instruction manual as you play. It's a pretty fun game. Like I said, it takes a while to get a hang of it, but it also tests your memory skills as you have to remember what dwellers need what objects, and you also have to think strategically as you place your maze cards throughout the game board. The interactive book also helps bring the characters and the story to life, so you really feel like you're within that labyrinth and you're trying to help that wizard. And if you want to see more great games for your kids, then come visit our website at timetoplaymag.com.